We have a date with Nines Rodriguez at a place called The Last Round. And Prince LaCroche is super jelly because we have established that he is in fact gay. Oh my gosh, he is so jelly and angry that he stepped on top of his chair and just busted his feet through the seat. He's like, why does he get to speak to Nines Rodriguez? Psh, psh. You're a very strange person, LaCroche. But this is a very pretty view. Holy crap, look at this view. That is intense. Those buildings look evil. With evil red spires. That one kind of looks like the Eye of Mordor. Sauron's eye would be right there where I'm pointing. Wouldn't that be cool? <gasps> Vampire the Masquerade, Middle Earth. Uh, that would actually probably make this game a hell of a lot more cooler. Like, don't get me wrong, this game is pretty awesome. But if you add, like, Gandalf and Hobbits, pfft, forget about it. Number one bestseller ever on Amazon or uh, Steam, wherever you choose to purchase your games at. Velma Hooker, what are you doing here? It's very strange seeing you here. I, I was not expecting that. Do you know where the last round is? Can you help me out? Uh, don't be shy. You can look me in the eye. Don't let what happened to us in the past get between us. I still love you, baby. I love you and your crazy back tattoos. <gasps> a yin and yang. She is so balanced for a hooker. That's awesome. What is this? The peckoning? Peckoning? Is that a play on words? I don't get it. Is that about some kind of apocalypse? But instead of the regular apocalypse, it's birds, because birds like to peck with their beaks. The peck apocalypse. What the hell? What's up with these guys? Are you fellas going to a Skrillex show or something? Yeah. That's cool. Have fun grabbing ass with each other. That's not my style. Chewing gum again, by the way. They have douchebags in downtown. Very cool. There's assholes no matter where you go in the world. Always remember that, people. Always remember this. Purple buildings. Damn. These buildings are huge. Tanked. Get tanked. With tank vodka. <laughs> cool name. And look at that. The last round. Coincidentally, the place that we have to go to to meet Nines Rodriguez. LaCroche told us to do it, and so we're here. Oh yeah. Listen to that hard rock music. Call of Duty, huh? <gasps> do my eyes deceive me? Is that you, Jack? As I live and stink. What's up, buddy? Well, well. Look at who made it back in one piece. Out Santa Monica, kiddo. Hey, hey. I didn't get to do much sightseeing. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? Oh, yeah. You could say that, yeah. That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive. Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen up, man. I ran into nines. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> you said you guys let those Shabbat go, too. Nines must be getting soft. How can you pass up that kind of fun? Hey, I got a better question. How come he keeps helping me? Well, well he was left sireless, too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. Yeah, maybe he's got his own agenda like everyone else. You're free to choose who you trust, him. I've got a few more questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Okay. I'd like to ask about something else. What's on your mind? Nothing. I just wanted to wait your time. I'm out of here. Thanks, Jack. Good to see you again. Stay hairy. Stay awesome. 
Next day, Blotto. Call of Duty. You have nice, very orange eyes, sir. I would expecting somebody like you would uh, prefer, I don't know, purple eyes. Are those contacts? I'm assuming they're contacts. Regardless, funny. I like it. Is Nines Rodriguez around here? Nines is expected. Have some manners and don't wear out your weapon. I'm scared. Act up again, and I'll be the one showing your ashes to the door. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Like I said, I need to see Nines. So then go on up and see it. You're free to do as you please here. I'll do that. See ya. Rude. Gets up in my face. Stops me during my business. Very rude man with a tight shirt. Isn't that right, Nines? High five! You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere who came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. Go on. You got a right to know the score. In Camarilla, this is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans. I'm looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out to exist. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Hey. This is all interesting, Nines. Aren't you a part of the Camarilla? Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example out of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest load of horseshit a man ever heard. So what are you all about, then? I learned the way of this world during the Depression. Bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what L.A. has been. An anarch-free state. Well done, sir. That is some excellent truth that will always be valid. So the Camarilla is new to Los Angeles. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. And even the animals didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left. Uh uh. No goddamn way. Their lives don't apply to us. Ah. Have you tried meeting with the Camarilla? I got their meeting right here. Oh, nice. Not a fan of the Prince, huh? LaCroix represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in the Nerd. Sounds like you're the prince of the Anarchs. No such thing. And again, Ruby, don't throw those kind of words around lightning. You're risking a beat down. I fought to keep LA free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't faded or switched sides. The most veteran soldier on the battlefield. One more question. Is there any advice you could give me? Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. If you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slay the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the camera is full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down a barrel of a shotgun. Well put. Can you teach me how to fight? After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah. I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this. And keep your body at an angle. Makes it harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. Thanks for all your help, Nines. LA is the school of hard knocks. So keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Okay. You got it, Nines. I will not disappoint you. Once I get rid of all my uh, dealings with LaCroix, I am so out of this place. I'm going to move to Vermont 
and adopt a child. Who will hopefully one day grow up to become Batman. Isn't that right, gargoyle head on the building? That looks very out of place. Very strange. I feel like it's gonna come down and bite my head off, but I'm just a paranoid weirdo. Hey, homeless man. Hey, homeless. Hey. Anybody got a menorah? Are you an old Jewish lady? Is that why you need a menorah? You're able to talk without moving your lips. That's pretty intense. And it's freaky. I'm leaving. Check the log. Investigate the Elizabeth Dane. The beach in Santa Monica. Oh! I know how to get there. I'm gonna have to go back to Santa Monica. Vote Robert Thomas! He owns three puppies. <laughs> if you support puppies, then you should vote for uh, the guy whose name I already forgot. You see, that's how much I care about puppies. Like, not at all. If I see a puppy on the street, I just... I just, I point at it and I say, I don't care about you, puppy. I'm just kidding, I don't do that. I would probably pet it. Everybody thinks puppies are cute. Is not that right, taxi driver? Need a ride. Yeah, just drive. Huh, oh, I said it to you again. What are you going to do about it? I did it twice. Ah, <laughs> oh, too much fun, this game is an incredible game. I'm really legitimately enjoying my experience. And I hope you are too, viewer. We're in this together. This is an adventure of only you and I are enjoying. Is that not right? Isn't right, Velma Hooker? You walk very fast. I guess you learn to run very well when you're a hooker. Part of the job description. To be a hooker, you must look reasonably cute and able to run in high heels at incredible speeds and being able to take a backhand once or twice every now and then there's the beach then I'm on a pier I can't get out on the pier I have to take the stairs oh been so long since I've been to the Santa Monica Beach. When I was having a few scruffles with the great Heisenberg. Actually, it was Gustavo, now that I think about it. The guy was dark-skinned. He's more Gustavo. Hey, Mercurio, what's up? Oh, you're not going to talk to me? Well, I guess you're not important. I'm going to get back to the storyline. Better luck next time, Mercurio. Hang on one second, people. <coughs> hey! I saw a wolf up there! Did you see that wolf? I had to turn my head to cough, but I saw a wolf before I did. <gasps> oh, wait! Where the heck did it go? <gasps> Was that Beckett? Was that Mr. Beckett Chewbacca Sephiroth Indiana Jones? Stalking me? <gasps> I have a stalker! Oh my gosh, I feel loved and wanted! This is so cool! Where is that boat? It's in the dock. In, hmm. Hello? Is there a boat here? This is the beach, isn't it? I hear boats. I hear boats. I'm on the pier. This is dark and scary. Hmm. I guess there's no boats around here. But there is a psychic. This is very, very strange. Give me one moment, viewer. I'll be back in a second. I gotta figure out where this boat is. I am the world's biggest idiot. And I will show you why. Because usually, things that are right in front of my face, I have a very difficult time noticing. I don't know. Maybe it's the attention deficit disorder. Maybe it's because this boat was very well camouflaged against the black water. Holy crap! Holy crap, it looks like I'm being pulled into the sea. That's so creepy. <laughs> I just hopped in the boat. I didn't start it or nothing, it's just a magical boat that takes me places. Just like The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. 
Only it doesn't talk to me, and it's not pretty and red. And it's not an old man that keeps telling me to go inside of it. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, rope ladder. Very old school. Uh, ooh. Yo, I, whoa. Pally, over here. Oh, we're pals. Uh, I didn't know. Hey, pal. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Hmm. Uh, J Jacobson didn't tell me much. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator or a Coast Guard guy something. Didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Enough. We need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. All right, look. I've gum I in my mouth. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Where do I go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Yep, yep. Got it all. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Okay. I think now is a pretty good spot where we should make a save. Alright there. No doubt I will mess this up like almost everything I've done so far. And I think now is also a good time to let you know that uh, I actually get a little bit seasick and because this boat is rocking, I kind of feel a little queasy. A little queasy. Uh oh. Blech!